Hey guys, it's Tom from Abraktigarden.com and I thought I'd give you a bit of a tour of um, my back garden which was it where the main part of my garden is um, as far as fruit production goes. I have plans to get the front yard a lot more productive but um, they've got a lot of work to do at the back first before I do that. So it's sort of this is a tour of showing you what I have going at the moment although being the end of winter there's not a whole lot going. It's also a bit of a tour of what my plans are um, some, some very immediate plans and some more longer term plans that I've got for my backyard here. So let's go and have a look. All right, so here I've got what I call my corner garden, sort of in the corner of, um, of my yard here. And here is sort of a bit of a, a tropical area around a pond. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing here with this pond, I'll sort of start here first. I'm gonna be getting some watercress to grow in there, which um, is obviously a good green to be able to have. So it'll make the pond um, productive. And also in the spill pond there, that's where I grew my water chestnuts last year and I'll be getting them in there very soon to start get them growing as well. So that's what's happening with the pond up here. I've um, got some lavender there. I'm going to be moving that soon because in this area, this area tends to stay fairly damp and should be a good place for me to grow taro. So I've got some taro which is down the end, you can see beyond the orange tree there where the cymbidium orchids are, there's taro down there which I'll show you later on. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that taro up because that gets very hot and dry there, it's hard to keep it damp. They'll, they'll like the damper conditions here a lot better so I'm gonna be moving them up here and they'll also fit in with the, the tropical sort of feel of the place. Okay, I've got a lot of weeding to do here. Um, I've had raspberries up here, but um, they just take over the garden. So I'm going to be moving them, and um, I'll sort of go over where I'm going to be moving them to later. My peach tree is starting to come out in blossom, so that's all good. Got plenty of oranges on my tree. Um, I don't know how good they look here. They sort of look a bit um, funny on the camera screen that I'm looking at, but they, they're actually not bad peaches this year. They are peaches, not bad oranges this year, and my mandarin tree as well. Um, I've got a lot of weeding to do, which I've got to get done before too much goes to seed. Um, just some herbs that are coming back over the winter. Some common mint there. Chives, lemongrass coming back. Um, I think this poor thing's died. Um, lime balm and lemon balm. And chocolate mint all coming back after the winter. Okay, strawberries are starting to come back too. I'm going to give them a good tidy up. Okay, and here you can see amongst these weeds here, the taro is starting to come back a bit after the winter. So the frost knocks them about a bit and they should be a bit more protected from the frost um, when I put them up closer to where the house is up in that corner there. All right, now I've got fruit trees here. Apple tree will start coming into blossom soon. Pretty excited about this McQuince tree. I've got blossoms on it for the first time. So this tree is about three years old and it hasn't blossomed before, but it's blossomed now, so this was actually, this one here, was actually the first blossom that came out, and it looks like it's starting to fruit up, so I'll be getting some quinces later on this year, and um, yeah, I'll be able to make some quince jam, quince paste, and all that sort of stuff. Quince jam's actually quite nice. Um, got some potatoes starting up here. They haven't popped their heads through yet, I don't think. I had them the other day. So this is the way I grow them in bins here. I just plant them in the bottom of the bin. By the looks of that, yep. There's some coming up there, so yep, the potatoes are doing alright. Um, I think I've got some Nicola potatoes and some Kifla potatoes in there, so they should do alright there. Poor little struggling lemon tree there. It's just always struggled. It, um, yeah, it hasn't just hasn't done well. But hopefully, with um, this little worm tower here, with the dog poo going in there, it'll put some nutrition in the soil, and maybe the roots will come over this way and start. Um, accessing it. Another apple tree here which will be coming out in blossom soon. This rosemary here is going pretty well and our avocado tree I'm hoping I might get some fruit on it this on this one this year. It's about the same age as the um, the um, quince tree so it should do pretty well. Okay over here I've got a heap of IBC containers which I'll be turning into wicking beds and when I was talking about the raspberries before one of the wicking beds is going to be become a raspberry bread so it'll stop it spreading all over the place keep it contained so that'll be pretty good i think 
And all these, all this wood here is uh, posts I've got for building an anti-avery over the top of where my raised beds are, which will keep the bower birds that give my um, give my veggies a, a fair flogging. That's why you probably I've, in a, in a previous update you would have seen the nets that I have over my garden, but they make them very unworkable. They're a bit of a pain, so I'm going to be building a big, wide-off structure over the whole lot. So we'll go down the back to see what's happening down there. Got some roosters here that will be um, fixed up for the um, the freezer very soon, so they'll be gone soon. And here are my raised beds where there's my other chook shed over there. Okay, the insect, that's my insect hotel. You probably recognise that if you've seen the video to it. And I had to move that because it was going to get in the way of my um, my structure to um, keep the bowerbirds off. A whole lot of wood there, scrap wood, which I've got to sort through and tidy up. As I said, I've got a lot of tidying up to do. So, working on that. Okay, so my chicken coops are there. And um, they're going to be covered over pretty soon as well to keep the bowerbirds out of them. A whole lot of chicken wire here that I'm going to be able to use on that. But my raised beds are done. Okay, and I'm just in, in the process of putting these posts in so that I can put a cover over the whole garden bed. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days, digging the holes and getting these posts in. There's a bit of rock in the ground around here, so I have to do a fair bit of work. Here's the bark that I put in around my yard so far. Okay, and you can see mostly what I've got. I've got some garlic there with um, a whole lot of beetroot in between. The sorrel's going there. There's some capsicums that sort of hung on through the winter. And I'm going to actually see, I'm just wondering whether these, we're just about out of the frost period now. And if these hang on, I might be able to keep them going throughout the summer. Some lettuce that's gone to, gone to seed. So I might actually save this seed because it's actually not bad lettuce. So, um, yeah, I'll save some of this and it should be good. Okay. Um, here we've got some kale, which is actually in its second year now. It's gone pretty well. We've gotten a fair bit of kale. You can see here, this is where, over the time, we've been pulling leaves off here, so it's done pretty well. And a whole lot of parsley that's self-sown in here. So we've got heaps of parsley. Um, got some broccoli and stuff here, which has gone really slow. Uh, red Russian kale there, perpetual um, basil. Um, I think think these were Brussels sprouts if I can remember properly um, yeah so they're, they're not doing too bad they went in a bit later these ones okay um, I've got some onions in here which went in a bit late but I should be able to do all right looks like the mongrel cat's been digging in here and that'll be another good thing about putting um, this structure over the top of the veggie gardens is it'll keep the cat from digging in the veggie um, bed as well Okay, we've just finished pulling all the carrots up out of this section, so we're going to have to put some more soil in that, build it up again, and I'm not quite sure. This will probably be where tomatoes or something go. This, um, no, probably not tomatoes. Might put something different in here this year, because tomatoes were in here last year. I think I'm going to have to look at my little plans for that. No, I don't think there were any tomatoes in here. Last year there was silver beet, beetroot, and carrots were there. Yeah, silver beet and beetroot was in here and carrots. So yeah, tomatoes and probably eggplant or something like that will be going in here this year. Okay, in here the snow peas have been really, really slow this year. Um, it's just been surprising how slow they've been. Um, okay, this is red cabbage. You can see here, this is this is what the bower birds do. I mean, there's no cabbage butterfly or anything on this. All this damage is from the bower birds. And I mean, that's why I need to get this netting on there so that the bower birds can be kept off. I mean, that there, that's, um, that is Brussels sprout there. That's just copped a smashing from them. So I really do have to get these things covered. Like I said, with the, with the bird netting, right over the top of them. It's just too hard to, to make it work. You've got to lift the netting all the time. This is going to be much more, um, much, much easier to manage. So um, yeah, hopefully over the next couple of weeks I'll get that all done and I won't have to worry about the bowerbirds anymore. Okay, and up here is my beehive. 
It's a bit late in the afternoon at the moment. Um, so the bees aren't doing anything, but they've been working pretty hard. And I just need to get in and check that. Hopefully tomorrow or the day after, it should be a nice day, and I'll have a chance to go in and have a look at that and see how much honey they've got stored there. Um, asparagus I had here last year. I hope that starts coming up soon. I haven't seen any come up yet. See if there's any down there anywhere. Can't see any yet. All right. Um, this is my white sapote that's going pretty well. It's on your right. Some new, new growth has come up on it with the warm weather starting to come on. So that should start going pretty well and it'd be pretty good if it, um, if it flowered this year. So it's going well. Uh, and my hazelnuts here, they're all starting to bud up. They've been flowering over the winter like they do. And if I see one with a little flower on it, I'll show you. That one hasn't got any on there. I think this one, maybe, none that I can find. You can see the leaves are starting to come out there, but I can't see any flowers on that one. Ah, here we go. So, just there, if I can get it to go into focus. Anyway, you can see, it's a tiny little thing there. It's hardly anything there. That's a female flower. And they have a male flower as well, which have all closed. I'm pretty sure these have already been pollinated. There was a male flower, but it's probably fallen off into the bark, so I've probably got nearly no chance of, of finding it. All right, so we'll go over to the balcony garden area and we'll have a look at what's going on over there. All right, when I get the wicking beds done, this is where they're going to go to here. Now this has been just a sort of general pile everything up. Um, it's where we've stacked firewood and that sort of stuff. But it's it was sectioned off into bins for the firewood so that we could um, basically know where wet stuff was stacked and just move it up to the end as it became drier. So there was a bin at the end. When that became empty, we just moved everything up so that the the newest stuff, the wettest stuff, was down the bottom. But we've sort of changed the way we store our firewood now. Um, so this is all going to go and be tidied up. And the IBC beds, when they're made into, wicking, made into wicking beds, they will be along the back of this retaining wall here, which the retaining wall will get a bit of a renovation and a tidy up as well. So um, there's a whole lot of work involved in that too. But those wicking beds, they should do very well especially with things like the raspberries and that sort of thing. This is um, one of my um, Macquai berry trees. This one's going really well. Um, blueberries, oops, oh, h and night near there. Okay, blueberries are starting to bud up here. You can see here there's little buds starting to come on. So they down here it's cold, they lose their leaves over winter and then they get them back. And this is another Macquai berry here, which hasn't done as well. So I think it's basically because it doesn't get as much sun, so hopefully once this gets a lot higher and starts to grow up, it'll do a whole lot better. So I'm hoping that's the case there. That's um, where I catch rainwater off the chicken coop for the chickens to drink. And eventually, what I'm looking at here is you can see where this post is here. Eventually there'll be posts all the way down until oh, just down the hill from this tree here. This tree, that tree will go. So it's just going to be in the way so there'll be a, a fence along here that'll be like one fence of the cover which will go over the veggie gardens and along here will be along here will be pine bark along here which will make an easy walkway to get into the chicken coop just through that door there so that's the plans this will be all nice and tidy it's one of my little fire bins ready for a fire soon um okay so our other blueberry which again has got buds coming up on it my um top bar beehive ready for bees hopefully i'll get some bees in it soon there's nothing in it at the moment so nice to see there this is my chokeberry which has got uh, leaves starting to bud up again so this will be it's last year was the first year it went in so this will be its second year here Okay, this is the balcony garden. I won't go through that terribly much. I'll do an update on that very soon. Um, not a lot's happened in it. Um, I've been really busy. I haven't really done a whole lot there. You can see 
the poor chili, even though it's hanging on, it's um, it's from the weeds there. So I'm gonna have to get those weeds out. Um, I haven't really done a lot here. And down here, a pile of wood chips to spread around the place. And this is the um, Brazilian tree grape, which is actually looking pretty good. Be nice to see it grow a lot higher. But um, like it, um, like the chokeberry and the white sapote, it's only been in here for a year, so it'll it'll grow a lot better this year once now that it's established. It'll it'll do just fine, I reckon. All right, there. So that's a tour of the backyard here. As you can see, there's a, a lot of um, a lot of stuff for me to do. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but once I get it done, things will look really well. Uh, things will work a whole lot better. It will keep the bower birds off my veggie gardens, make them much more accessible. One of the problems I did have when I had the bird netting going over the top of the each individual garden, if I left it, like if I wasn't able to get there for a few days, you could have tomatoes going up and actually weaving through the stuff. And it, once they started weaving through, the only way you could really get them out of it was to either cut the bird netting or to break the tomato plant. So it just it was just a very unworkable system. I found it really it really did not suit me. So. That's why I've made the decision. I mean, it, it's costing me a bit of money, but in the long run, it's going to be something that is going to work a whole lot better. So anyway, that's a, a look around what I'm doing here in the backyard. Some of my plans, longer term and shorter plan, like the short term plan is covering over the veggie beds, the raised beds there. Um, after that, I'll get the chicken coops all covered over because the bowel birds eat their food as well. So that'll, even though I'm spending, going, going to be spending a bit of money again on that, in the long run, it'll save me a lot of money on chicken food because they eat probably half of the chicken food that I buy. They eat a lot of it. So I really need to keep them out of the chicken food. And plus, they're a vector for diseases and mites and that sort of stuff as well. So I'd rather keep them out of there. And um, then it'll be moving on to the wicking beds with the IBC um, containers. And um, yeah, there'll be a, a bit of work in them as well. So I've got lots of stuff coming up. and. Um, Hopefully once I get this, these veggie gardens done, it'll be a lot easier for me to grow a whole lot of stuff without having to worry about the bower birds coming in and pecking the stuff to death. Anyway, that's it. And until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.